So in my first Halloween video for this season, a few of you guys really liked my makeup and you asked me if I could do a tutorial, so I'm going to try and recreate it today. I used, I think I only used, or mainly used, the Venus palette, which looks like this. Let's just go on and get into it. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is take some Divine, and I'm going to put that all through the crease, well, the socket. On a more tapered blending brush. I think that I went in with Muse, probably. That's what it's looking like. That I did Muse, which is like that burgundy wine. Then on the lid, I'm going to do Shell, which is the sort of pinky, orangey guy all over the lid. And then just on the other side of that brush, I'm gonna take Aura right in the inner corner and sort of like buff it over onto the lid. And then I think I'm gonna take that same brush that I used Muse on and take the more brown, was this Divine? Nope, it's Creation. I'm gonna take Creation. Ooh. Put that right in the crease over that more wine color. Just gonna warm it up a little. Basically putting it everywhere that I put the wine color. Just to keep it more hmm, ready instead of turning pinky, I guess. Even though this is looking pretty pinky, whatever. And then that first brush, I'm just gonna sort of wipe it off. Then I'm gonna take Rebirth, which is that. The bright kind of, what the hell is that color? I don't even know, like a salmon, a deep salmon color. I'm going to sort of buff this like on the edge here where it's looking a little gray and shadowy. Okay, then a really teeny, teeny, tiny brush. I'm going to take the brown, dark, dark brown called Icon. I know I used this. I may have even used a black, but I'm, I'm just gonna do a little bit of this Icon right now because I don't feel like doing black, but by all means, do the black if you feel like it. I just really want to emphasize this sort of slant, this sort of, you know, nose to eyebrow end. Really want to make that sort of the deepest area. And then just tapping off what's at whatever is left along the lash line, but not bringing it all the way in. Just maybe like right past my iris. And then I'm gonna mix Muse and Creation and sort of drag the edge of that icon dark brown color out. Just gonna pull it out, diffuse that. And with my finger, I'm gonna take a little more of that shell, that orange pink duochrome, and just really tap it in the like basically the center of the lid but you see i don't want it to go up and down straight here which i feel like it has so i'm going to take a little more of that red brown mix creation and divine these two and i'm going to sort of place it over this because i want it to still slant i don't want the shell color to be up and down vertical when you're looking head on at me. I don't want it to be vertical. I want the shell color to have a slant out here at this edge. I think I might need to take a little more of the divine, but I'm gonna just rock that in that socket. Rock it in the socket. Isn't that a vintage or tacky thing? Did you guys ever watch her? She's still great. Probably just gonna take the rebirth on a smaller brush and run that underneath, sort of like drop it down at my tear duct. So leave a little negative space there. Y'all know, I usually do that. So we're gonna take a little bit of the wine color. And I feel like my the lash line in the video was really, really dark and I don't want it to be that dark. So I'm trying to not do that, but I am one to darken the crap out of my lash line. So, you know, shit happens. I think that I do need to take some of the very dark brown and connect the outer corner. 
think we're gonna make it really low because I feel like that's what I did that day. But I'm gonna try to stay on the outside as much as possible. And I did not do any eyeliner, I believe. You could do eyeliner if you wanted to. At this point, that would be when you do it. Um, but I did put some lashes on. So I'm gonna do this eye, mascara and lashes, and I'll be right back to finish the face. Okay, so there are the lashes on. I just chopped one little piece off the end and stuck them on. Um, I did press a little bit of the icon color um, just with that same brush. I pressed it sort of like right in the center, um, in the inner corner here, really, really lightly, just so it wouldn't be such a stark difference between where there was no lashes and there are lashes. On the day that I filmed that, I, I used Heather's from Anastasia Beverly Hills as a base, as a lip liner, but I can't find it right now. So I'm going to use Notte from Stila instead. It's a little bit darker, but it'll achieve the same thing. It's really just a liner slash base, and then I'm going to put a different lip over it. Okay, so it's darker and way more purple. <laughs> so if you want it to be more of that true red that like it was in the video. Heather's by Anastasia Beverly Hills. The actual lipstick that I did use was Pat McGrath uh, Matte Trance in Flesh 3. I probably used like Bella Rosa from Milani, but I am gonna use Peaches from MAC just because it's different and I feel like it needs maybe peach. I don't know, we'll see. I mean, you don't even really have to do blush. It's, you could just skip it. Skip it. And then for the very, very last thing, I'm just gonna go with Kat Von D Thunderstruck because it's my favorite. Just to really pop that out. Okay, that is it. That's the look. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I hope you guys are well, and I will see you all in my